Hello, welcome to my video on prenatal screening. This is a part of our series called Be Aware, Be Prepared and Be Safe. This is an initiative to enable informed decision making by patients. So in this video, I'll be talking to you about the screening test which is usually done during the first trimester. It can also be performed during the second trimester. This is done to, de to detect the chromosomal abnormalities in the fetus. The first trimester. The initial three months of pregnancy is called the first trimester. At this time, a blood test and an ultrasonogram is usually done between the 11th to 13th week of pregnancy. First, I'll be talking to you about the blood test. It will screen if there are any abnormalities in the chromosomal structure of the baby. The common chromosomal abnormalities are Down syndrome, Edwards and Pata. These conditions occur when there is an extra chromosome resulting in birth defects and serious intellectual disabilities. Normally, babies have 23 pairs of chromosomes. That amounts to 46 chromosomes. An extra chromosome in any pair results in an abnormality. If there is an extra chromosome in the 21st pair, it results in Down syndrome. These babies has varying degrees of intellectual disabilities with mild to moderate severity and may also have birth defects such as heart or kidney problems. Around 40% of Down syndrome babies do not exhibit any structural malformation in scan. A mother is at increased risk to carry a Down syndrome child when her age increases beyond 35 years or if the mother has a previous child affected with Down syndrome. If there is an extra chromosome in, in the 18th pair, this results in Edwards syndrome. These babies display severe intellectual disabilities along with growth restriction which results in low birth weight. These babies also have an abnormally small shaped head and birth defects which are usually life threatening. An extra chromosome in the 13th pair usually results in Patau syndrome. These babies also exhibit severe physical malformations and intellectual disabilities which are life threatening and usually do not survive beyond first week of life. The blood tests are examined along with the ultrasound which is usually performed between 11 to 13 weeks of pregnancy. The NT scan stands for nuchal translucency scan. Here the fetal medicine specialist measure the thickness of the skin at the base of the neck and nasal bone of the fetus to assess the risk of Down syndrome. This is a measurement of fluid underneath the skin along the baby's neck and head. This measurement is called the nuchal translucency. All babies have some fluid over here and if we suspect an increased fluid level along with absent nasal bone puts as the patient at higher risk for Down syndrome. This nuchal translucency measurement is taken along with the blood test, the age of the mother and the gestation age for consideration to obtain the risk of Down syndrome. If the risk is 1 into 250 or more, we usually recommend a confirmatory screening. A confirmatory test is two ways. Either it could be an invasive testing or a non-invasive testing. In the invasive testing, we have two methods. One is chorionic villus sampling, which is usually done between 11 to 13 weeks of gestation, wherein some amount of chorionic villi from the placenta of the mother is sent to lab for testing. Second is an amniocentesis procedure, which is usually recommended when the gestational age is more than 16 weeks, which involves withdrawing amniotic fluid which is surrounding the baby and to send it to the lab for testing to see fetal cells for chromosomal disorders. The non-invasive screening is called NIPT test which is non-invasive prenatal screening which is usually performed by taking 20 ml of maternal blood and send it to the lab for testing 
fetal cells which usually exhibit chromosomal disorders. The second trimester. The stage of pregnancy from 16 weeks to 20 weeks is called the second trimester. The patients who have missed first trimester screening are usually called for a second trimester screening. However, the sensitivity of the prenatal screening which is done during the second trimester is less when compared to first trimester screening. In the second trimester, before the blood test is performed, a ultrasonogram is done to rule out any major structural malformations in the baby. In the blood test of the mother, usually three to four factors are studied. So it is called as triple bar quadruple test. The triple test involves alpha fetoprotein, human chorionic gonadotropin that is called the HCG, estriol, and the fourth factor which is called the inhibin when it is added in the blood test is called as a quadruple screening test. The structure of malformations in the baby cannot be studied in a blood test and hence we perform an ultrasonogram before withdrawing blood from the mother. If the blood test results in a low risk of Down syndrome, it does not indicate that the baby will not be born with the condition. Likewise, if the blood test indicates a high risk for Down syndrome, that does not guarantee that the baby would be born with this condition. There are screening tests and invasive procedures such as chorionic villus sampling and amniocentesis to provide the confirmation of chromosomal disorders. Prenatal screening. To summarize, the initial three months of pregnancy is called the first trimester. At this time, a blood test and an NT scan is conducted between 11 to 13 weeks of pregnancy. The blood test provides a picture of the baby's chromosomal structure called a karyotype. The NT measurement along with the patient's age, the date of pregnancy are used to calculate the risk for chromosomal disorders. The stage of pregnancy from 16 to 20 weeks is called the second trimester. At this stage, a blood test called triple or quadruple screening is performed along with an anomaly scan to rule out structural malformation in the fetus. If the blood test results indicate a low risk for Down syndrome, it does not guarantee that the baby will not be born with the condition. For your benefit, we have this information and more on our website www.chennaiwomensclinic.com.